So, how do we integrate then 1 over x cubed times the natural log of x with respect to x? Well, we can't multiply these two functions out, okay? And they're different kinds of functions, so what we've got to do now is use integration by parts. And hopefully you're familiar with the formula integration by parts. If not, you'll find it generally in your formula book, but here it is anyway. If you've got u and dv by dx, then you should know that the integral of u dv dx with respect to x is equal to uv minus integral of v du dx with respect to x. Anyway, I'll take you through this. So what we've got, first of all, is, well, when, when you've got a natural log function, okay, and you're using integration by parts, always make the natural log the u part, okay, not the first term or the first part here. This part, the natural log part, make that your u. So if that's u, okay, then the other part here, 1 over x cubed, in this example, is the dv by dx. All right, now let's see what happens. Well, I'm going to change 1 over x cubed, first of all, to x to the power minus 3. And then we've got natural log of x with respect to x, okay? Now, according to the formula, it's the u part, which is the natural log of x. So just come down underneath here. We've got natural log of x. Okay, put that in brackets, okay? Otherwise, you might end up writing ambiguous statements. So we've got the natural log of x, and we have to multiply it by v. Now, v then is the integral of 1 over x cubed or the integral of x to the minus 3. So just to integrate that, this type, add 1 to the power, so you're going to have x to the power minus 2, and divide by the new power, minus 2. Don't attempt to clean this up at this stage, okay? Otherwise, I quite often find I get students uh, making mistakes in the next stage. Because all you've got to do is just write down minus the integral of what you've just integrated. So that will be just copy down this bracket. So you've got x to the minus 2 over minus 2. Put that in brackets. And then we have to multiply it by du by dx. So we need to differentiate the u part. u was the natural log of x. So differentiate the natural log of x, you get 1 over x. All right? And don't forget the dx on the end. OK, so next line, all we need to do is just clean up. So we look at the first term. It doesn't look very good written like this. It's going to be minus overall. And this is 1 over x squared. So we've got minus 1 over 2x squared. OK, bring this term to the front. And then we can release the bracket and just write natural log of x, all right? Come on to this term. I'm not going to integrate this yet. I'm just going to clean it up. We've got a minus minus here, so that's going to be plus overall. And we've got the 2 in the denominator here. It's a good idea to bring it out the front of the integral. Let's say you don't have to, but it means that it leaves this part uncluttered. And then you've got x to the minus 2 divided by x. You can cancel this down by taking away the powers. Let's just show you. When you divide, take away the powers. You've got x to the minus 2 here. Minus 2 minus another 1. That's going to be x to the minus 3. That goes, right? So what we've got here then is to integrate x to the power minus 3 with respect to x. Next line then, just copy down the first term again. You could, if you want, put the natural log of x over 2x squared if you like, okay? But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it like this, natural log of x. Don't make the mistake of trying to cancel this x out with one of these though, okay? So that's that first term. Now, just need to integrate this term. So we've got a half. In the usual way, add 1 to the power, so you've got x to the power minus 2, divide by the new power, minus 2. And now, don't forget your constant of integration, plus c. 
clean up one more time we've got minus 1 over 2x squared then natural log of x and here we've got minus overall minus 1 quarter and you've got x to the minus 2 which is 1 over x squared times it with the quarter and you're going to get 1 over 4x squared okay plus the constant of integration and there you go